Okay, now there's just a few extra things that you need to know about splay trees. And the first is that it's a self-balancing tree, which means that if we insert nodes in sorted order, normally in a binary search tree, that would cause us to build a tree that looks something like this. And so as you can see, this is a very bad kind of a binary search tree because here, to do a lookup, we're going to have to lock all of the nodes in a tree, and we've lost this nice logarithmic property that made lookups, inserts, and deletes extremely fast. The way a self-balancing binary search tree works is, as you add elements to the tree, it has some sort of a balancing procedure that keeps the thing approximately balanced so that tree operations remain very fast. And if you look at the literature, it turns out there are tons and tons of different data structures that offer self-balancing binary search trees. And the fast ones of these end up being somewhat complicated. And display tree is really one of the simplest examples of a self-balancing binary search tree. And the implementation that we're going to look at in a minute contains something like 100 lines of code. So the other thing you need to know about display trees before we get, in, get into the code is it has the really cool property that when we access a node, so let's say we do a lookup of this node here, which contains seven, what's going to happen is as a side effect of the lookup, that node is going to get migrated up to the root. And then whatever was previously at the root is going to be pushed down, and possibly some sort of a balancing operation is going to happen. But the point is, is that frequently accessed elements end up being pushed towards the root of the tree, and therefore future accesses to those elements become even faster. So this is sort of a really nifty feature of the splay tree. So what we're going to do now is look at an open source Python splay tree. It's basically a random data structure that I found on the web, and it happens to implement a splay tree. It comes with its own test suite, and we're going to look at what kind of code coverage that this test suite gets on the splay tree.